Okay, we are moving right along in our soapbox derby car. Feels good, getting some accomplishment going, right, huh? Okay, so for this next step, you're gonna need to reach into your pocket or your piggy bank, because you're gonna need a quarter. Sounds weird, but I'm gonna show you why in just a second. All right, you two, cough up a quarter. I know one of you got a quarter on you. Let's do it. Okay, I got one. All right, next time, don't let me down. The steering back contains quarter inch by two and a quarter inch elevator bolts, quarter inch by two inch elevator bolts, a 332nd by one and three quarter inch cotter pin, quarter inch lock washers, quarter inch nuts, quarter inch flat washers, cable pulleys, and three quarter inch flat washers. All right, at this point in time, you're gonna need your brake and steering mount. Also, you're gonna need that quarter. You're gonna drop that down in the recessed area where the steering shaft will go. Now, insert a one quarter inch by two inch elevator bolt through the bottom of the floorboard at the front of the brake steering mount hole and press it through the floorboard. Then install a quarter inch flat washer and a quarter inch nut on the bolt and draw it flush with the bottom of the floorboard. Go ahead and tighten it a little bit more. Does it feel flush yet from the back? That's a good one, all right. Go ahead and remove the nut and washer. Then repeat these same steps for the second front bolt hole location. Place the brake steering mount on top of the quarter inch by two inch elevator bolts. Then place a quarter inch flat washer. All right. Then a lock washer on those bolts on top of the brake steering mount. Then install a quarter inch nut on the bolts, but don't completely tighten the nut. Feels good making progress, doesn't it? Yeah. Good. After you've done that, insert one quarter inch by two and one quarter inch elevator bolt through the bottom of the floorboard at the rear brake steering mount hole. Then once again, install a quarter inch flat washer along with a quarter inch nut. Tighten to draw the bolt up flush with the floorboard. This time, just remove the nut. Next, place a cable pulley on the elevator bolt on top of the brake steering mount, followed by a quarter inch lock washer on top of the cable pulley. When you've done that, install a quarter inch nut on the elevator bolt, but don't completely tighten it. Now, repeat those steps for the second rear brake steering bolt and cable pulley location. All right, now it's time to tighten the four nuts that hold on our brake steering bracket. But before we do that, we're gonna stick the brake plunger through the brake steering bracket, also through the floorboard, and see that we have clearance. And that's how it should look. See how it slid right in there? Got a little bit of play? Perfect. Okay, now it's time to tighten the nuts. But before we do that, I wanna show you guys the steering wheel. You have it? Mm -hmm. There it is. It looks like a bow tie, and it can go in, in either direction. But next, we're gonna show you how to install it. What do you think? Mm -hmm. You ready to drive yet? Huh? I am. Yeah. All right, let's get cracking. First, insert the steering shaft through the round hole on the brake steering mount. Then raise the steering wheel and slide the three quarter inch flat washer on the bottom of the steering wheel shaft. Push the steering wheel down through the brake steering mount hole until the shaft rests on top of the quarter that we installed in the first step. Now push the three quarter inch flat washer up against the brake steering mount and insert the three thirty seconds by one and three quarter inch cotter pin through the upper steering wheel shaft hole. Then bend the end of the cotter pin around the steering wheel shaft. All right, there you have it. Steering wheel installed. Now we're ready for the cables.